Hey there folks, my name is Jonathan Hopper and you join me from my cave here in the garage where today we are going to talk about baseball bats and how to grip them effectively. Now look, there's a million different videos about a million different ways of doing this. I'm going to share with you my experiences and how I've done it to great success. I have three kiddos and the side effect of that is lots of bats. <laughs> And doing this, I've had to grip several bats to get them where they need to be. Let's talk about how to do this effectively. Okay, part one of the conversation. Sometimes you get a bat that's basically fine, but if you look at it, oh baby, that's a, that's a mess. Like that grip is a goner, and it's just not good to hold on to. And the kids don't like the, the effect on your hands. They, they make a real mess, and it, it's just gross. So re-gripping one of these, not a difficult task. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show how to re-grip that bat. What I have already done is come into this bat and strip the old grip off. It's really not at all a problem. You just take the tape off of here and then you unwind it on the way down. Now, I personally uh, like to have the area near the back of the bat here, the, the base, I guess you might say, a little bigger. So I came in as I was removing the grip with a razor blade and about two levels up, I just rotated that bat around with the razor blade there and I cut the tape so that some of it would remain. Okay, and you can see that here. I then went in, I had some spare tape kind of sitting around and I put a really nice, it's very soft, I think this is lizard skin, uh, band around the very base of the bat and all that's gonna do is build this area up a little bit. And when I start wrapping it, I'm gonna make it a little thicker down here as well so it'll have a nice grip when you get down to it. And then it'll be more slender as you go towards the, the fore end of the barrel of that. So let's get on this. What we are using for grip tape today is Rawlings Bat Grip. This is a far cheaper option than is Lizard Skin, which is what you have here. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna be. I'm curious to see how it pans out. The lizard skin feels amazing, but I wanted to try something different. So we're going to try this Rawlings bat grip. All right. You can grip a bat for a right-handed hitter or a left-handed hitter. My kids all bat right. So what you see is I start here and I twist the bat. I guess I would call that counterclockwise. So I'm going to twist the bat counterclockwise like so as I go down. We're going to do the same with this Rawlings grip. And you don't have to unroll the whole thing while you're working on it. Uh, it's going to be a necessity the way I'm standing here to show this to you, but uh, normally I would just set this on a table and let it go. Just a little bit at a time. I'm going to rest the bat on my knee. I'm going to come right up here to this edge. And I'm not stretching it, but I am putting a little tension on there just to really get this seated in correctly. Now, we're touching. I'm going to start working my way down and just give it a little bit of overlap as I go. And this Rawlings grip tape has an edge to it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lip. Like there's a raised area here in the middle and then there's a lip on the sides. I'm just fitting the tape into that lip. Which I predict is their design. We shall see. And again, I'm not uh, really pulling on this hard. I'm just giving it a little bit of tension. I find that helps things to kind of bite together a little. The um, Lizard skin grip tape, the area that's grippy on the back is probably twice as big. This is really like a slender margin of error, you might say here, um, which I predict is fine. Like I'm sure it'll work the same basic way as anything else would, but I'm just pointing out that it is different. I feel like that's as high as it really needs to go. I'm going to come in here yet again with my razor blade. I'm going to cut this thing off. Right about there. Looks like a great spot to do it. I'm just going to rotate this thing around. About like that. All 
I'm going to use the uh, material that Rawlings sent with the bat. Again, normally I would use standard electrical tape, but I'm just going to try it since they sent it and see if we can use it to hold this piece down. Just like that. Oh, it's so stretchy. Holy cow, this is incredibly stretchy tape. So we're going to give it one little circle around like so, and now I'm going to walk it down and build a little bit of a margin. And there it is. So now we've got a fresh grip on my kiddo's baseball bat. Uh, he is six years old, and we're going to see what he thinks about this bat. I think it looks pretty good. Kid loves green, so we went with green. <laughs> Mmm. Y'all just got home from school? Uh -huh. Y'all calming down and relaxing a little bit? <laughs> what do you think, JD? Good. Does it feel okay? Mm -hmm. Not bad, huh? You like the green? Mm -hmm. Get your green pants on. Not bad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to hit with it later on, okay? Is he going home? <laughs> 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 All 